In this course, Computer Networking for Business, we are going to discuss computer networks and their applications in business. The reference book for this course is the Data Communications and Computer Networks, a Business User's Approach by Kurt White, published by Say Engage Publication Company. The main objectives intended for Chapter 1 include define the basic terms in computer networking and data communications, identify the main elements of a computer network and their functions, outline the common examples of communications network, and discuss network architectures and how they fit into the current networking system. And later on in this chapter, we will discuss the layers of the TCP IP and OSI protocol suite and describe the duties of each layer and then compare the TCP IP protocol suite with OSI model and list their differences and similarities. Computer networking has gained so much attention, especially after the development of various applications that run on the internet. Back in the 1980s and 1990s, the computer network was the domain of technical people, such as computer engineers and system developers. But now it involves various groups of users, both technical and non-technical. It is now almost impossible to spend a day without connecting to computer networks such as the Internet. Most transportation systems use communication networks to monitor the flow of vehicles and trains. Expressways and highways have computerized systems for controlling traffic signals and limiting access during peak traffic times. Some major cities are placing the hardware inside city buses and trains so that the location of each bus and train is known. Point of sale systems at grocery stores, cable TV and cellular systems are other examples of the use of computer network in daily life. Now let's go over basic jargon in computer networking. Computer network is an interconnection of computers and computing equipment using wire or radio waves. In terms of size, Networks are typically divided into three categories, local area network or LAN, metropolitan area network or MAN, and wide area network or WAN. LANs are networks that are small in size, spanning a room, floor, building, or campus, such as the Internet. Metropolitan area networks serve an area of roughly 2 to 30 miles, the size of a typical city. For MAN, we can name examples such as cable TV and cellular networks. Wide area network is a large network that covers a state, country, or the entire world, such as the Internet. In some reference books, there is another type called personal area network, or PAN, that covers an area of a few meters to serve a person. Bluetooth is an example of the personal area network that is used to connect a mouse, keyboard, or other devices to a PC. Data communications is the transfer of data using digital or analog signals. Telecommunications is the study of telephone and the system that transmits telephone signals. Network management is the design, installation, and support of a computer network, including its hardware and software. In order to form a computer network, certain devices and connecting media are needed. Devices can be workstations such as computers, tablets, and wireless phones that run user application. Servers provide service to other workstations such as file servers for uploading or downloading a file. Network switches and routers are the communication devices that interconnect multiple workstations. This figure shows the picture of a large network that is made up of multiple LANs, MANs, and WANs. The important aspect of networking is that various types of networks, in terms of size, infrastructure, and data, can communicate and form a consistent network. 